I'm in depth reporter Anthony Hill in Tampa. Okay, so um, this is Ernie's senior year picture. Pretty dapper looking dude. Yvonne Casares is, is taking a trip down memory lane. When he played for the University of Tampa. And here's his Plant High School team. She's a caretaker for her husband, Ernie, who has China, Parkinson's disease and watch. dementia. And Sleeves. there's no cure. There's nothing you can do. Um, you know, he's very forgetful. Oh Not God. an easy job. And, and trust me, okay, there are times whenever you just have lost all, you know, patience and you say, okay, I'm done. I need 15 minutes. Sit there, don't get up, and you go, you know, and just kind of chill for a minute. Because of how expensive long-term care facilities can be, she does this 24-7 job herself. Um, you, you do it because you love them. It's estimated that there are about 2.7 million caregivers, just like Yvonne in Florida. So often what we hear from caregivers is that they've had to take time off from work and sometimes step out of the workforce entirely to provide care for an aging parent, for instance. Jeff Johnson with AARP says those caregivers provide $40 billion a year in unpaid services. Unpaid caregivers are the unsung heroes of our modern society. Anne-Marie Winter we is with the Area Agency on Aging of Pasco Pinellas. They provide services to caregivers like respite care so that caregivers can get out of the house and have a little free time. They also have support groups, but there's a wait list for many of their services. Reach out to us uh, before they need those services. Get on that wait list so that when a spot does become available, they can access the service. Caregivers frequently, the research shows, pass away before their loved ones that they're caring for because they're not taking time to care for themselves. Katie Parkinson is with the Senior Connection Center and they're trying to make life easier for caregivers by providing services. It's hard. I mean, it, it's caregiving, right? One of those unique services is providing a realistic stuffed animal that often distracts and preoccupies people with dementia. <laughs> My mom was prone to wandering and she would get antsy and we'd give her her cat and she was convinced it was a real cat. And it's so lifelike, it's pretty amazing. And I mentioned several resources in this report. I'll be sure to post their contact info on abcactionnews.com. I asked Yvonne, the caretaker in this story, what advice would she give to a young adult to prepare for the future? Take a listen. That you start not only thinking about your retirement benefits that are coming up, but, but also think about long-term care. Um, there's, in, there's insurance policies out there that you can purchase for a small amount right now. In Tampa, I'm in-depth reporter Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.